Here at HIDS 15, why must you use YSTRs? Well, in my opinion, you must use YSTRs in sexual assault cases when standard DNA methods uh, don't work, um, either due to the fact you've tried it and uh, you didn't get a result, or there's objective uh, evidence that you have a male um, DNA present, maybe in, in small amounts. Often, it, during a sexual assault, you've got a mixture of body fluids or, or tissues from male and female. If you have a semen, a semen stain, you can sometimes do a differential, but quite often in other cases, there's no way of separating the male and female. Under those circumstances where there's a large quantity of the victim's you know, female DNA present, standard autosomal will sim simply not work uh, because of the titration of PCR reagents by the overwhelming quantity of female. So we, by targeting the Y, of course, which is only present in males, you basically ignore all of that uh, confounding uh, female DNA. And the, and the Y systems currently that we have now are, are able to, to deal with large quantities of female DNA being put in into a reaction. Yes. Um, so that, that's, the, that's the exciting thing about these next generation type YSTR type kits, that they're able to operate with large quantities of background female DNA. The technology that, that is used for YSTRs is the same basic technology we have for, for autosomals. Uh, labs have that, that technology. It's a standard, relatively straightforward way of doing um, you know, genotyping, or in this case we call it haplotyping. Um, it's a standard method and uh, we, we have to uh, make a good faith effort to, to, to as I said, make sure that every victim who's a victim of a sexual assault gets some um, closure and, and the criminal justice system can proceed and, and basically convict those who are guilty and uh, eliminate those who are falsely accused. That's another important part of this. Labs are, are constrained, they have uh, large caseloads, they have, um, they have to, they already are dealing with backlogs with regard to autosomal. Sure. To bring Ys, they have to validate the system and they have to you know, make, sh make sure that they're competent in the system, etc. However, my argument is that um, it's, it's basically it's just an extension of standard methodology. It's using the same basic equipment and the same approach, the same extraction methods, etc. So basically, it, it, the, 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 the cost-benefit analysis for society and for the victims is, is too great. Indeed. To ignore. The larger picture. Yes. Thank you for sharing that with us today. You're welcome. Great to hear from you. Thank that. you.